Hey, good morning. This is Heath Phelps with Texas Pressure Washing Store. So I wanted to talk about nozzles and we're going to talk about the chart and how to read the chart. So there's typically two types of nozzles. They're both MEG nozzles, the iMEG nozzles and the regular MEG nozzles. I prefer the iMEG nozzles because they give you an actual true pattern. So a 25 degree on this type will be better than a 25 degree on this type. It'll actually be a true 25 degrees. Um, it really matters if you're pushing like the Mini Mondo or a Mondo or anything with two bars in it. Um, the pattern needs to be true so it can actually not leave like a stripe in the middle or something like that. And a lot of guys have issues with that, especially on an eight gallon a minute. 10 gallon a minute, that's not as common. I've only seen one guy have an issue with that. But also on these things, typically the iMeg nozzles, and it's not gonna focus on it, but the numbers are on the end right there and it says, one quarter meg 2503 and on this one the numbers are on the side right there and it says 25025 so if you're running a four gallon a minute machine you want to run 25 degree 2.5 nozzles on a two nozzle surface cleaner that will give you 2500 psi and i'm going to pull the chart up and it has the chart and i've got it highlighted where it's basically two numbers meet, and you want your PSI to meet your gallons per minute. Where those numbers meet is a 5.0, and you divide that by the number of nozzles. So because you have two nozzles in the average surface cleaner, for especially that size, like a 16 inch or a 19 inch, you would use 2.5s. Um, you'll see online, guys will always write 25.025 or 25.03.0, something like that. And when you see that, and you go to a website to order it, they're actually going to be listed on the website as a 2.5 or a 3.0, something like that. So that's how that works. And we're going to flash the chart and I'm going to go through the chart. And as you see here on the chart, it'll be the graph that meets. And when you put these in, I put them in with Loctite. Sometimes I come with thread, tight, thread tape, but I use Loctite um, 242 or 243. And you make sure that the line in the tip is parallel with your bar. Not cockeyed like that because it's all about how it spins the bar. So I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments or message me directly. Thanks.